And that's Mr. Fabs on the ones and twos and is mixing it down nicely. You know, it's Wednesday, so when we get to midweek, you know, lazima tuji sedereshe vizuri sana. So, big up yourself, Eldoret, Nakuru, Mombasa, Kisumu, and beyond. Remember, you can take us everywhere with you on traceradio.co.ke. And leo ni lewa semaye kesho ni muwongo. We are at that time where I love it, especially when I have a artist in studio and we get to listen to music, we get to vibe. You know, we get to get into a business. Kidogo, tome mambo ya mangoma. You know what she has in store for us and this time round as usual per usual when we talk about Trace FM you know we are first to the hits and also when it comes to you know giving you the artists that are up next the artists that are also in line to take this crown we're always putting you on to the no but before the one be any nani you know lazima tukwe naka ice breaking ni nini lazima tujue ni nani kuanza lakini ice breaker alafu mziki badai ama vipi so in the meantime in between time um I know I introduce you but um hi how are you fine, you're you. good yes, um sir. welcome to trace fm this is your first time here yes yes how was how is how's your week been if you could describe your week like let's say with two three words what words are you using to describe your week thus far Hmm. Some few words. It could be random words you use always. It could be adjectives. It could be street terms. When I say my God, that tena. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, you know, anything. What, what, what would you say? What words come to mind? Um, I think it has been interesting. Um also hectic interesting the, hectic <laughs> <laughs> yes interesting, there's a story hectic. you've told me that has really yes has proven why it is been a hectic kind of day for you yeah. but hopefully we could make it better cuz uh, you definitely have made it better by you know giving us this new tune and this new flavor kind of thing you know a new vibe in the city um so that's a good thing so hopefully as you're making our lives better with the music you can also you know reciprocate the vibe in that sense yeah for sure why yes not? so um uh, just a bit of um maybe you can tell guys who you are just a bit your names unajwando as i'm asking you these random questions this equal to neville is talking to himself in studio <laughs> you know okay. but yes introduce your um yourself to our trace fm audience sure so my name is telani um i'm a singer songwriter and an aspiring producer i've been in the game for quite some time mm-hmm. i started um you know doing some music some mixes with a producer of mine from like um the age of 19 okay yeah so immediately so- after high school i did um get a job uh, within a studio setup mm. and before i knew it i had this passion for for, you know, music, for music and the arts yes yeah yeah but um it goes back to my dad my dad is actually a guitarist and i think maybe some of the you know genes yeah, from him yeah, you know yeah. they passed you know, down to <laughs> <laughs> telani now yeah. Yeah. i like that right. i like the sound of that because we'll be getting into all that you know cuz lazima ikweli anza from somewhere so that it gets to where it is right now and where to where it's going mm-hmm. after this you For you sure. know so i'm excited um let me ask you this um in your friend group amongst your friends mm. Um what would your friend say what type of friend are you? Why are you listening attend to learn any any bestia ina gani? What do you think they would say when you ambi? When you ambi your thoughts. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes, so, well, what friend would they say you are? So most of them say I'm an empath. You're yeah, an empath. <laughs> <laughs> I hope ni tauliza wengine. You're an empath. I like um, that. What else would they say? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I'm also funny they say I'm funny. Ah, oh, you're funny. Yeah, yeah, but for for you it's I only get to show that side of myself to like the chosen few. Ah, <laughs> so you have to be the chosen few. Lazima yeah. ufike yani kwa ile kwa ile kiwango. Okay. Ligiflani, Lazima so. ligiflani. I like that. Yeah, so so, uh, so on funny. Okay, okay. I like yeah, that. Yeah. What about um when it comes to going out? What type of friend are you? Are you the one who comes up with the plan or are you the one who is just told, "Hey, Telani, <laughs> 7:30 uku we're ready. I'm the friend that shows up. <laughs> that shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, hey, for me coffee. Just, yeah. I like that. Well, I like that. I'm, I'm 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 definitely down um with that. And uh when we talk about um the music scene, who are some of the the people you are listening to from Africa? Um because we know now I'm um, um, Afrobeats is such, you know, this there's the favorite genre of the world right now and then yeah. I'm a piano is also there. So maybe you can tell me some of the people you're listening to, some of the songs that you know have been repeat on your playlist. For sure. I love me some Victoria Kimani. Ah, nice, nice. Um talking about Seychelles, mm-hmm. growing up, um Yemi Alade. 
um, you know, Avril. Nice. You know, some Avril as well. So yeah, and now, you know, what I've been on to is you know a lot of my piano. Okay. You know, listening to Tyler currently. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's about it. So that's about it. So mm. lots of Afro beats, uh, uh, lots of, of course, as you've mentioned, lots of women there inspiring mm. you and stuff. Yeah. And um, you've talked about Afro beats. Hey, love me, JJ. <laughs> this is Thames right here. Let's play some Thames and when we come back, we get more from Telani. <laughs> Um, you were telling us before um, we played some of the um, the songs that are on your playlist. You were telling us about, uh, you know, getting um, maybe a bit of musical influence from your dad, since you know he played some uh, some guitars up on Uh Would you say that was maybe your first inclination towards loving music, or was it the studio? Are you working at the studio time, you know, and you putting uh, work at the studio that made you really want to do music? No, I think it was more of. The inspiration behind you know why he's doing what he was doing okay. you know mm-hmm. you know him being you know in the studio late night and whatnot i think i grew up admiring that and like you know him being a guitarist you know making melodies and like freestyling was also one of the things that okay. inspired me so i think it's more of you know seeing him doing what he did more um, more and more, I think. Mm, you know? Day by so, day, just yeah, seeing him yeah. put in the grind, hard work, nini, nini, made you at least uh, fall in love with that aspect of it. And um, as you're growing up, unajona pitia primary, mm. um, high school, do you indulge yourself? Una, do you put it to the test? You know, this. Do you know you have like a voice? Ama, you're just like pl- downplaying it as you're going through, you know, the education system. I think most definitely, I, I. Like right after I joined Form One, and I had about you know the music mm-hmm. group, the choir, the school. Yes. You know, school How did choir. that make you feel? Uli join nama uli uli shy away. Biora kasana, cause you know I like growing up. I used to you know sing to Rihanna and whatnot. And if there was anything that was close to you know music, mm-hmm. I would definitely wanted to be involved. So yeah, I did choir from like form one through form four. Okay. I enjoyed it. One of the best altos. I aced it. So yeah, I did enjoy mm-hmm. being part of the choir. So as you're in the choir, are you, has the thought crossed your mind of being like, let me just do a Beyonce and, you know, just leave this group, <laughs> Destiny's Child, and, you know, just shine out there. Or are you just still reserved and being, let me take my time, nini, nini, or, eh? or, or are you just, you know, just pre- reserving it to yourself? No, I actually wanted to take the most time because I remember even after high school, I was looking for the music teacher, like, hey, you, we should start ah. something, you know, <laughs> oh, like, you're the one who is there. you guys are leaving me yeah. out in the dark and like, you know, oh, so, so how am yeah. I going to do uh, by myself? Okay. And I was like, you know, that. look for his contact and, you know, trying to like, see what we could do together. But then I just grew by myself as mm. an independent lady, okay. independent artist. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And um, as you as you go on and on and on and on, when is the first time you step into the studio and maybe someone plays you something and you lay something, you know, you, you like seriously put a track together? When does that moment happen? Can you tell me about that and uh, relieve it for us? I think it started by like listening to some instrumentals mm. um, on YouTube, you okay. know, some beats, some fire beats, and I was like, hmm, I really do love this, you know. Mm. And you, 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 you were writing to them as you were listening to the beats. Yeah. Okay. So it started by you know me recording like melodies and like humming ideas nice. through my phone, and then you know playback, write down music, and I'm like, because since I was working at a music studio at a yeah, it's you like, know, like it's right here, it's right there. <laughs> so let me try something, and then. Yeah. I tried one song, everyone was like, hey, you know. Hey, like, <laughs> talent, <tapa buana. laughs> and so that's just how my music journey started, okay. really. I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay, okay. Um, I'm really loving the fact that you are you are close. It's like, you know, when God and Akweka position, Flani and Akwambia, you know, kitu ya kwa unakata kuyoda na uju, you could write in your face, but mm-hmm. you know, in a bit um, far fetched. But I like the fact that you you took the time and, um, you know, you, you put yourself in that vulnerable kind of state to you know put yourself on a track and you know release mm. it out there and uh, 
is they how do people feel at home yani wale as you said your dad your mom um when they when they hear your track ama when you send them something are they supportive ama they're like hey tutafute vitu zingine za kutengeneza pesa <laughs> what would you say um I think my dad first of all thought I was joking mm. like when I immediately I've, I played him one of my songs that I recorded in the studios and this was back in 2020 he was like eh you know he was really not like thinking about yeah, it he that was just much like, you could tell yeah. you know <laughs> And then I you know I you know did more and more songs I recorded more and more audios and then my mom was into it and I guess the uh, you know attention from my mom mm. is what made like my dad yeah, be like, like pay attention you closely know. be like okay <laughs> but my mom is my biggest supporter nice. I mean I like play to her my songs and she's like wow you know Mama she's like mama miss can release that to you like you know go girl I mean she's nice. my biggest supporter I like that Yeah, that's about it. And tell me about the name because I have to ask about the name. How does the name Telani come about? Okay. That's a good question. So my I'm not going to say my three names, but yeah. um I just took syllables from my from my all name. your three names. Yeah. Cuz I was thinking about you know te- Temaru, Tesharu, <laughs> Teru, you know, Teruru, it's just Maruru. it was a whole list of like, you know, yeah like Picky. syllables and like letters from my three names yeah. and I ended up with Telani okay. which is you know what I thought would be fit mm. yeah. and um what what would you say cuz I'm about to play um the single um that you sent me Telani and mm. uh, that single um I want you to before we play it for guys like that um I want you to tell me about this song before we talk about this song okay yes sure tell me about this song like that Cool. So I do have an amazing amazing producer his culture music, right? And we're just chilling one day, you know, to look on a bigger story. And this is was who I start like I started with mm-hmm. um from Making back in 2019. Mm-hmm. Production and stuff. Yeah, at the time we had like, you know, the capability to record as much audios as we could, but then we couldn't like push. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, so many years went by and now we're here. Yeah. At least we're somewhere mm-hmm. and i was thinking about oh yeah so how about we go like like we just go with the flow and like pursue music like full time you know because these are good bangers and whatnot and i was like cool sit one that aside to never record a song and i was like <laughs> yeah, oh, bet. yeah and so i took the opportunity i recorded till um like that and basically it was just inspiration from my friends experience okay. i wouldn't necessarily say it's like holy mm-hmm, something yours. that i've gone through okay. but just picking experiences from like people around my circle okay, hey, okay. i like that i like that and uh, since we are first with the hits we'll play you like that by telani and then we'll come back and talk about it big bad tunes we do play trace fm first play ay 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 okay easy on me from to your boys and they pay So this is what happens when you and the producer are just sitting around. Eh, na ile kumkia moa yani kuwekelea mikakati. See tutalia jameni. But that's a banger for real. Thank you very much for that song. And I'm sure there's many more to come. Are you preparing a video for us? Are you preparing a dance challenge? Just tell us what is in the works right now because we're excited about this. Sure. So I do have a music video for this. This nice. is coming up next week. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you. Mm-hmm. Here we usually have a, a studio around here in the corner is where these guys are. I'm beginning to return. Like. I'll show you when we're going out. Okay. Don't, don't worry. But anyway, as you were saying, a video is coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. on the 27th nice, this nice, month. Nice, nice. I like that. I'm really excited about it. I mean, it's shot by an amazing videographer, his Aaron Keys. Shout out to you. Dope. But yeah. I'm really excited, excited about that. Excited about that. Okay, so and um what else can we expect this year? Um projects tell me tell me tell me what, what what can your fans expect and also your new fans because now I'm sure there are people who are you know catching on to you right now. Mm. Um what what is in store for everybody? Cool. So I do have plans to do more collabs, you know, with young up and coming artists as well, people who 
already made it in the industry if i might mm-hmm. say nice. but yeah more collabs um i'm also planning something around mental health this is something that i'm really passionate about I'm a mental health advocate and so some of this projects are going to be around mental health as well mm-hmm. so yeah more projects more bangers nice. so like yeah it's going to be crazy it's going to be crazy and we can't wait as it's up in nyumbani sasa anytime you have anything you're willing to share with us mm-hmm. make sure you come through and do the business right here um on Trace FM and um before we let you go um thank you very much once again um do you want to maybe tell guys your social media handles where guys can follow you um youtube you know guys can subscribe tell tell guys plug yourself cool so on youtube it's telani telani on youtube on instagram is underscore telani underscore yes 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 on tiktok is telani as well so mm. across all media platforms that's that should be telani yeah. it's telani okay. one and only make sure you support but we'll definitely be spinning this again 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 <laughs> like that let's sign out with you thank you very much telani Trace FM, we are first today. It's this is Trace Drive with myself, Neville.